Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Taste of Dragons, the podcast, the podcast that, you know, all them appetizers listen to. Yeah, the queso. Yeah. Yes. Mm. My name is a mozzarella stick, and I have ears. Deal with it, because I'm going to listen to a podcast with them ears. Also, don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> you sound sentient. We're definitely not going to eat you. Great. Uh, what are you doing Friday? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, guys. I really like mozzarella sticks. <laughs> oh, crap. I was about to say, I'm, I'm, I'm eating your cousin. <laughs> yeah, but the marinara is real low. Uh, you know, you can't eat a mozzarella stick without marinara sauce. That's just a rule. That's true. That's I, true. I, I don't like marinara sauce. Oh, with crap. Crap. <laughs> really? I don't. It tastes like pizza. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Sometimes the marinara is just too like chunky, and I don't like, oh, like chunks of yeah. tomato. Nah, no, like, no, I don't. Uh, I, it depends. I could get down on some chunky marinara. Yeah. If I want a little little extra, maybe maybe the mozzarella stick. Sorry, don't listen, mozzarella stick. If the mozzarella <laughs> stick like isn't doing it for me enough, mm-hmm. then like a nice chunky salsa kind of makes up for it. You know. Yeah, fair what, enough. What's the line? It's too watery. What are you gonna do? It's just it's just. It's just water. It's yeah. just a salty water. What's what's the line between marinara and bruschetta for chunkiness? Ooh, bruschetta is... When does it become bruschetta? <laughs> a lack of liquid, I guess? All right. All right. I don't know. I think yeah. bruschetta, bruschetta has much more actual clear chunks of tomato. Like, it yeah. has actual sharp edges. Like, the tomato isn't mushy. It's not rounded in almost yeah. any way. Whereas yeah. with a marinara, it's almost always supposed to be, like, your, your smashed tomato. It's a sauce. It's yeah. a sauce. It's and not a... And bruschetta not a usually... A dip. Yeah. And bruschetta usually also has, like, little chunks of onions in it. And, like, you know, other things oh, yeah. that also I mean, aren't, like, chopped really finely. A marinara could have... Have, uh, the a marinara can have onions in it, it's, but know, it's, it's actually been cooked as opposed to a bruschetta, which isn't it cooked. Is. It's an empty pasta. There oh, it is. Yes, yes, wow, yes. Joe, dropping that cooking knowledge. Right, that's what I do. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was your tasting cooking. Kit You're welcome. Tip. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, right. Part of us has to be about eating. Oh know, yeah, it tasting. A, it is a, ta- a tasting it, podcast. Yeah. It is. It is. I got you, fam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Joe. Well, speaking of which, my name is Brian. My name is Troy. Amanda. And I'm Joe. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Caitlin and Zach can join us this week. So, you know. And Lewis decides to still be in New York for some reason. I know. Jeez. Uh. You know, going to school and, you know, getting learning done. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah. So it's so we have a special guest, Joe, here. That's right. Hello. You know what, Joe? You and I have not been on a podcast together yet. You haven't? Oh, my goodness. We haven't. Right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I've only filled it when you weren't here or when we were in Japan. You're constantly yeah. across from me. I am, it's true. <laughs> so it's like we have. I, I get to enjoy everybody's podcast every week. <laughs> it's like I'm here, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very happy for today. This is exciting. Indeed. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so let's get on to our games that we've been playing this week. Uh, Joe, as our special guest, uh, would you like to start us off? Oh, yes. I have uh, recently become... Oh. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, I apologize, Joe. I no, apologize. Ahead, Hit me good. with that again. Do, get with our do, games do this year. All right. So, uh, you know, what games have we been playing this week? Do, 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 do. What do, are do. you playing? <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry, it's never off. not funny. I love it every time. You know, we were missing something last week. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Rules are rules. Yes, that's true. It's true. beautiful. It's how it should be. Um, I have recently uh, downloaded Tetris 99. Okay. I, I downloaded it oh. like a few days ago. Oh, actually, I think it was last week. I literally think it was like five days ago. So I downloaded it. I played four matches. I got to, like in each match, I, I was able to do better. So it was like the first one was 82. I have no idea what I'm doing. Second one was like 60 something. I have no idea what I'm doing. The next one was 25. I have no idea what I'm doing. The next one was 10. And I was like, wow, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Is everybody really bad at Tetris or are people just being really nice to me? I don't know how this works. <laughs> and then I spent the next three days never being able to pass 12. Uh. Uh, it didn't matter what I was doing when I was playing. I didn't know what I was doing. So then I talked to Caitlin the next time I saw uh-huh. her. And I was like, yo, is this whole attacking thing part of the game? Like, I don't understand because I'm just making Tetrises. You're just I'm not Tetris-y. doing lines. I'm not making tri- triples. I'm not flipping things around and being all cool like mini tea spins. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> I'm literally just making quad Tetrises. Nice. That's all I do. That's the only thing I know how to do. And she was like, yeah, they do this knob and you change this and then it attacks people who have KOs and attacks people. I'm like, how do you get badges? What are KOs? I don't understand any of this. <laughs> well, I took some time and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna pay attention to what other people are doing. I'm not paying attention to anything. No, it is really difficult to look at anything but your own screen. <laughs> and once it passes 10, it gets so fast that you're just kind of like, if you don't have a good plan as to how you're going to get out of this crap, you're screwed. 
You wow. super screwed. So I got to three. That's as high as I've gotten Ooh, so far. Nice. That's amazing. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I don't know how. It, I, I don't know how that worked out, but it did. <laughs> and Thank you, other people, for dying before me. And <laughs> so, you know, that's how drugs work. Yeah. Is you you get what? that high that first couple of times, oh. and then all of a sudden it's like. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm doing the same thing, but I just can't get as far as I used to. I guess is. I got to do this more. Yes. <laughs> I keep doing it until I get that that feeling back again. <laughs> and you I'm, did, I'm didn't there. you? I did. It was it was like how did it feel? Like I was a serial killer. I was murdering <laughs> <laughs> over and over and over again, constantly reaching that for, wanting to get back to that first murder high. That, that first was what I was murder doing. high. This got Hi, strange. I'm, my name is dark. Joe, and I have an addiction <laughs> to murder. To murder. <laughs> <laughs> but I serial killed Tetris. That's what I did. But it was really fun, and I played yeah. Doctor Mario a lot. Mario. Nice, nice. It's like a Criminal Minds episode. But You're like. welcome. <laughs> oh, I did, I did reach a uh, tier five in Doctor Mario of that phone, the phone Doctor Mario game, oh, yeah? and then I got all the way up to having seventeen thousand, seventeen hundred ninety six points, and I was like, "There's an unlockable, like, as another level that's secret and has like a little lock thing on it." Ooh. I was like, "This is really cool. I'm gonna reach that." And then every person I played for like an hour destroyed me. Oh, so it's, it's I'm really. Like, I'm it, at the bottom of tier five now. That's kind <laughs> of like a compliment to you because you're because you were considered to be at that level. But yeah. I feel like it was a lie. I feel like that locked <laughs> thing. I feel like that like I feel like that locked thing. I didn't even notice it till I got higher in points because it was like, oh yeah, that's like it's like a carrot. They're just uh-huh. teasing me with it. <laughs> they know that I'll go back and play if I know there's another level to get up to. But if uh, there isn't another level, I'm like I'm cool. Yeah. Have you unlocked any more characters for Super Doctor Mario or whatever it's They've called? They've only given me Bowser Junior. Ooh. And Toad, What's but I, like? I don't play. I won't play with any of them. I play with uh, Bowser. Okay. I until they give me Daisy, I'm not changing my person. <laughs> That's a valid stance. They, they give me to Waluigi, hold. I'd think about it. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> So, hey, yeah, that's what I've been playing. It's the only game you can play as him in. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Hurtful. Ding, ding, ding. Hurtful. <laughs> wow. Well, Addicted very nice. to murder. Well done. Yeah. That's Good murdering on Waluigi. That's there. right. Good game of the week. Uh, I go next. I uh, I beat Borderlands 2 again. So, I, I refreshed oh. on the story because I so completely jealous. forgot about it. <laughs> Brian's played it twice. We haven't finished it once. <laughs> I know. It happens. It's okay. There's not uh, a lot of time left. It comes out like next week. Two weeks. You got two weeks. You got two weeks, my man. Go ahead. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I don't remember any of this game. Let me <laughs> let me go through it. The story doesn't take that long to play. I'd forgotten as long as you don't do like, as long as you don't get lost in side quests like with Skyrim and all this other stuff, it's not that bad to actually get through the story. Um, that makes me feel good. Yeah, it's not too bad, especially if you also get a little lucky and get some good weapons to go along with it. Like, I had some really crap weapons for a good while, <laughs> and it was rough. Mm. <laughs> and, I, and I had, like, no, like, shield upgrade for a while either, so I was dying constantly. And I was like, man, this is this is really difficult. And then, like, I got a good shield, and I got, like, two good weapons. I was like, oh, I'm set. <laughs> and I'm just running around, just murdering Walking everything. On sunshine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I beat that again. And I was like, you know what? Cool. Um, you know, once you beat it, you can unlock a new harder difficulty mode. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll do that. Stop I didn't realize that. that the harder difficulty mode also, you have to start all over again. Oh. And I mean, you still retain oh. your level, but it's now harder and you have to play the story all over so again. It's nothing. And I was like, <laughs> I, I really wanted to get into the expansion. Like, I just thought I was going to be like a, a higher difficulty level, not can you start still over again. Get into the expansions with a different save file or something? Um, I think so. I think I can switch it back to normal because that's still the same character. Okay. Right, so I think right. I can go into the settings and just go back to normal. I just haven't gone back to it yet. Because, dude, I'm playing Borderlands 1 right now. Yeah. And the pre-sequel Ooh. at the same time. Oh. Trying to knock those out. And I haven't even finished Borderlands 2. I'm like halfway through with Mandy. hmm And it comes out in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to have to say that's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I can't beat simultaneously three of those games and Tales of the Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> the Telltale, you know, adventure game before then. Yeah. I, I, I think if you have to prioritize one of them, okay. I would prioritize two because yeah. the ending of that does somewhat sort of lead into three. Okay. So, you know, maybe do maybe prioritize if you if you can prioritize one. All right. We'll do, Captain. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was my game of the week and it's. A whole lot of fun. <laughs> as long as you have your weapons, you are golden. <laughs> uh, so now, Amanda, what'd you play? Uh, I actually went back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. Is I, I got I got some Switch time in. Uh, for those of you who haven't listened to our other Dragon Quest Builders 2 segments, <laughs> uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 is like a Minecraft-like RPG game where you, where you build stuff uh, and fight stuff. 
Uh, and I got to the fight stuff part. Ooh. Um, the previous uh, levels in the game were much more about building and about communicating and mm -hmm. about growing and developing. And this was very much like the fight one, <laughs> which for Dragon Quest Builders 1 is when I stopped playing. Because <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, this is very much not what I wanted from this game. Yeah. I'm not opposed to violence uh, in video <laughs> games. Uh, I'm not opposed to fighting video games. But this is not what I wanted from my building, creative, yeah. zen video game. Yeah, it's called um, Dragon Quest Builders, not Dragon Quest Fighters. Right. Uh, <laughs> I would probably play Dragon Quest Fighters. I would too. <laughs> I think that's just called Dragon Quest. <laughs> You're probably right. Fair enough. <laughs> but but all of that being said, they did a really good job of giving me alternatives to fighting that were still very interesting. Oh, they, yeah. You still have a sword and shield and you can go out and hack things. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they gave me other things to do, which were really um, kind of ingenious. Is like uh, uh, There are people that follow me around all of the time and they do a lot of the fighting and then I can still collect things or I have different items and abilities that I can use that enhance them fighting. So I can like choose to be support if I want to, oh, okay. which I thought was really nice. And yeah. actually... Um, it changed the pace of that level so that it was engaging the whole way through. And I just finished it. So oh. like I, I enjoyed all of it. Uh, and the That's aesthetics nice. of that. Of this, We would consider this chapter three. Okay. For those of you who've been following along. <laughs> uh, was was great. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Awesome. So it was a nice departure from the first one where you stopped playing it. Right. And this one you actually completed and enjoyed. Yes, I was very worried. The, yeah. <laughs> my, my only criticism is that um, my main character... Uh, keeps doing things that make the, one of the sub characters very angry, and I'm very upset about it because I don't get a choice, and, and it's just like, Aww. why, why, why am I doing this? He didn't <laughs> do anything. You should, you should tell them not to be mean to him. Why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> so. why, why are you being a jerk? <laughs> but, but it's also not that game, so. <laughs> There's no branching quest lines. Right, right. <laughs> Telltale presents Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> And bad decisions. And the quest of bad decisions. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, nice game. Nice. Thank you. Nice. I'm glad we got our, even though Caitlin wasn't here, we still got our <laughs> Dragon Quest builders in. <laughs> I need my fix. Do yeah. you know how hard it is to find new pictures of Dragon Quest Builders 2 for the Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll find out in another three weeks. <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm prepared. I'm looking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, we're exhausting the pool. <laughs> I think I'll have to just start dating screenshots for you or something. Aye, yeah. that'd be fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, you actually, right. like, if you actually just screenshot it, you can take it from your Switch. Oh, that would be it. awesome. And then I can send you a picture of the level that I'm in. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Fair enough. Yeah. That's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, so now, Troy, round us out. Hey, so I'm doing a little catch up here. So I got a quick double. Ooh, I've been been out for a week and a you, half or so. You always do too. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a quickie, and then it's like a regular. But this is two quickies. But I'm gonna talk more about doing them <laughs> before actually doing them, <laughs> which just takes up my time anyway. Oh gosh, are, are we talking about games now? Are we talking about games, right? Uh, okay, so anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, Fire Emblem update. Uh, it's been uh, covered extensively on this podcast, so I don't have much more to add to that. Um, except just my side of things. All the sentiments that Zach has, has shared, I have also shared about having your own personal story in this, uh, you know, tactics game slash Harry Potter simulator. <laughs> <laughs> um, all I've noticed is I think I play this game way slower than on my friends playing it. Because I have a few other friends who are like, oh, I'm 20 hours in and I'm this level. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I've been playing for 50 hours and I'm behind you. <laughs> I take a long time talking to people mm -hmm. and fishing and gardening and making sure they have the right gifts. And then if anyone lost anything, I try to make sure I get everything accurate. I visit everybody. And so it's taking me longer to get through the main chunk of this game. But... Um, everything that has been said on this podcast about my clan is correct. <laughs> I've come through some pretty stark story bits where some big decisions have to be made. And my clan is just like, I don't know. I'm with the teach. <laughs> and the teach is my character. And instead of it being like a big like hoopla of whose side you're going to pick and who you're going to be with, they're just like, I'm with, I'm with you. Whatever you want to do. I, I, don't, I don't really care otherwise. Yeah. They've just been really easy going about it. Um, and I love it. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is so angry in that game. Um, Everyone has, else has opinions and, and, and religion. And yeah. It's like or very, like, like deep emotions. And you guys are like, hey, you guys, you guys want to go get some popcorn? I'm just like, kind of hungry. You want to hang out and play Melee? Like, that's about <laughs> it. Hey, uh, you guys just want to get high today? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I've had a few people from other houses who have recruited to mine who, once some big things have happened, have told me, like, hey, I'm going to stick with you. Even though, like, my people are going off and they're doing things, Mm -hmm. they're like, because of the relationship we've had and all that, like, I see the value of sticking around. So you have my blade. And I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. (laughs) Rewarded the time that I put in of giving them their flowers and egg omelets and stuff. <laughs> Reward your 50 hours of which 45 <laughs> is talking to them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so still still hitting that game. Uh, I should be able to pick up on it pretty pretty quickly. Awesome. Um, the other one I'm hitting up is just to ca- uh, follow up on the Overwatch talk that we've been talking about before we left because before we left, the changes were coming. Correct. And then they came and then I went away. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the big changes. So let's go ahead and do this. Overwatch nerd alert. Overwatch nerd alert. Overwatch nerd alert. Overwatch nerd alert. (laughs) So Sigma, the uh, main tank, has been added to the game. And uh, everyone thought that Sigma was going to be a replacement for Reinhardt Mm -hmm. or Orisa as a main tank kind of person. It turns out not so much. (laughs) It turns out the way that the new character is being uh, accepted in the world is actually as an off tank like Roadhog or D.Va. Because it's uh, shield is so movable and it can't really be relied on by mm-hmm. other people to stay where it is. Um, because of that, uh, the developers who were hoping this would make the uh, main tank more versatile to make it three different main tanks, including Winston um, or four different main tanks, um, instead are finding themselves in the same place they were before where they don't have the main tank option that they thought they would have. Right. So it'll be interesting to see if the developers make a change with the new character or, or with Sigma or find a way to make a shield more strong or more stable or something. I have a question. Is Sigma yeah. the one that had the really weird, trippy, like, villain type of uh, opening yeah. that they put out? Yes. Okay, that thing was really, that guy was cool looking. Overwatch nerd alert. Yeah. <laughs> Sigma was a scientist, <laughs> an astrophysicist. And then he got a little too close to the black hole. Flew a little too close to that black hole. <laughs> That's right. And either saw himself in multiple universes or something, and it totally just split his mind. And oh. then the evil corporation in Overwatch saw how brilliant he was, and he, he saw the other side of a black hole and got powers and said, we're going to use him. So they like trapped him and let him go crazy on purpose in order to make him more powerful and then would send him out on missions as just like a henchman with him out of even knowing what exactly he's out there doing no. as like a weapon yeah Whoa. pretty much yeah, yeah. he's just okay, he's just awesome. along for the ride really you <laughs> yeah. know he's just like well i guess i'm out in the real world <laughs> somebody's shooting at me i guess yeah. i'll kill him i guess so <laughs> yeah he sounds kind of awesome and really scary all at the same time oh yeah yeah, yeah both of those things oh. both of those things uh, but we've been doing the two 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 meta, and it's been uh, really well as we hoped it would be. Good. Um, it's coming in really handy just to rely on strengths. I was on a, last night with a group of six, and sometimes I would be tank, sometimes I would be healer, sometimes DPS, and sometimes it wouldn't work. But we all found something that did work. If I was healer and this person was a tank and this person was this, we found where we were our strongest. Mm-hmm. And then we just started winning and having really good cooperative games. And it was just about finding where your strengths are and then applying them. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> you get instant teamwork. Yeah. And it takes less coordination because you're already there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it makes for overall more positive experiences uh, because uh, if you lose less, then people hate you less in the game <laughs> or start blaming other people or mm-hmm. whatever. And it, it just made for a much better environment. So already with this uh, with this new test of, uh, of of Overwatch comp, it has become very fruitful to the overall game. I, I find very nice. Um, so in two days they'll make it official. This has just been the beta, mm-hmm. um, and uh, and yeah. So we'll see how it works when they apply it to everything. Yeah, and then have have it actually. Yeah, I guess make have a real meaning in the competitive scene. Nice, nice. Well, yeah. I'm glad it's actually working out to what they were hoping it would work out, at least for, for your guys' group. I haven't had a chance to play with you guys yet. We're uh, waiting, Brian. Oh, I know. Every <laughs> time we get on, we're like, is tonight the night Brian's going to be on? <laughs> we could use a tank. <laughs> <laughs> One of these nights. Before before the beta's over, no, I'll, I'll jump two, in. That's two Ooh. days. Yeah, yeah. Two that's, days. That's like tonight. So tonight. I, we leave on a plane tomorrow. Yeah. Like you said, two days. <laughs> two days. <laughs> oh! oh! That's our host right there. Brian, everybody. Bam, Give bam. it up. Give it up. <laughs> clap, clap. 
I don't know. For some reason, Joe doesn't like me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why either. <laughs> um, I just don't. He's got a lot of reasons. Marriage is beautiful, huh? Marriage is a lovely Yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right, cool. Good, uh, good games of the week. Uh, good, good, good job catching up. Yeah, two weeks, two games. Yeah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> Did you guys see any of that stuff? Speaking of Overwatch, uh, oh, there was like a leaked uh, skin or or something on the Switch. Oh, oh yeah. So, oh yeah. The um, Overwatch. It looked. It looks like they may be bringing Overwatch to the Switch, and with that came with a special case and a special bundle, which looks really nice. With that also came a possible leak of a new Smash Hero character, <gasps> Super Smash character, Ooh. and that was the leak of thinking that Tracer may be coming to Smash Brothers. Yeah, oh, I would love that. Or yeah. it's a rumor. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Yeah, I'd be fine with that too. I'd be fine with that, but I don't know. How, oh man. Overwatch on the Switch. I don't know uh, how that's going to work. They're not known for their online prowess. That's where I was going with that, yeah. How do you communicate in a game that has no voice chat? Well, first, what you need to do is download the Nintendo app. <laughs> yeah, I have, okay. the, I have the online app. It, it has mm-hmm. a, a room in it and everything. I downloaded mm-hmm. it for some other game. Like Splatoon. There we go. Yeah. That was it. I, I, we we tried it with Splatoon. It, and we, we got it when it was brand new, and it mm-hmm. did not work very well. But that was also, what, a year ago? So it might yeah, be yeah, that was now. a while ago. Well, well the thing yeah. is, is that like f- they could do what Fortnite does because Fortnite has its own voice chat that you actually can do over the Switch. You don't have to sign into a separate app. Oh, okay. So they might do it that way. I mean, or just be like I am and don't talk to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's also a fun thing to do on an online cooperative game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. Just mind your own business. <laughs> if you do only emotes. Only emotes. <laughs> yeah. You can communicate so much. Yep. Hi. <laughs> do a little dance. <laughs> if you lose the game, understood. Yep. <laughs> I think it's funny how much Or a sarcastic can... thanks. <laughs> I think it's funny how much you can convey with just jumping in video games. Yeah. You can totally yeah. tell when someone's angry. It's just like, oh, jump, 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 jump. Shoot, shoot wildly. Yeah. <laughs> you just turn around. They're walking in front of you. They just turn around and start shooting you in the face. Like, oh, I got you. I, uh, I've had a friend who was disappointed in someone else's playing. We weren't talking to them. And then in the next round, just walked up slowly to them and just had their character look left to right. (laughs) (laughs) And then down. (laughs) That's pretty effective. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, uh, that was this week's uh, uh, Games of the Week. Nice. 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 So now that brings us to our uh, news segment. News, 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 news. Good job, Joe. (laughs) <laughs> I'm writing notes, man. <laughs> I know it's it's hard to also talk while writing, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't think you would know. I know. I, I really wouldn't. Don't. <laughs> I gave up writing in 2003. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's when I graduated. That's, I was about to ask yeah. if there a reason there. That makes sense. It was all computers from there on out. <laughs> oh yeah, I just type on my phone. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm writing on a computer. And yeah. you're you're handwriting on a computer. Yeah. Yeah. That's impressive. I don't. Uh, I won't remember anything if I type it. So if I if I write it out, I I have like a, I remember almost everything I write down. So that's nice. Good point. Lucky. Very nice. <laughs> well, uh, last week we were talking about the Dota Two International, and uh, how much money it was. Uh, so, we we know who won now at this point. It was uh, OG, which is who I thought was going Ooh. to win. Oh. Uh, so they won uh, like fifteen point something million dollars. Oh my gosh. Woo. Uh, for first place, wow. that's a that's a lot of loot boxes. That's a lot of loot boxes, <laughs> oh and uh, they're also the first team in the international history to win twice. Oh, good oh, for them! Yeah, uh, apparently nobody Not a fluke. else. Yeah, nobody else has won uh, two internationals, and so uh, this year was going to happen though because the two teams that were in the finals had both won before. Mm-hmm. So, so it was guaranteed that somehow it was going. You know, somebody was going to to do that. So, yeah, it was that's OG. crazy. What I like Dota, I've never played it. No. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, you, you would not. <laughs> knowing how you are, knowing how I know you yeah, are, yeah, yeah. It's, it's roughly kind of like how I like to play as well. Yeah. Nah, you're not going to like it. Great. Yep. All I need to know. Yep. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> if you want to play those types of games, uh, play like uh, Heroes of the Storm. That would actually be much okay. more up your alley. Gotcha. Or our alley, actually. And uh, But yeah, they won $15 million. <sighs> Second place, I think, won $6 million, And mm. it just... I think like up until like I think maybe eighth place they all won uh, between five and one million dollars each, and then it just like I think the least amount if you got to the top sixteen was like 
I think like three or five hundred thousand dollars. It was crazy. Well done. <laughs> yeah. We're all in the wrong business. <laughs> uh, I, I'd be no good at it. I, no. I, I like me some video games, but that's that's not that's not my thing. Same. No, nah, I wouldn't be able to do it. I apparently can never play it. <laughs> <laughs> I never will. It's not for me. I, I really feel like I'm still in the wrong business. Yeah. I would be able to afford a lot more video games if I played Dota 2 apparently very well. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to be like... We don't need to be the professionals. We need to be like their agents yeah. or something. That's right. Or we Ooh, should I like it. work we should, on the fringe. We should have a very successful podcast about hmm. video games. Yeah, mm, I like where oh. you're going with this. Like with this. Yes. Do people oh. even play those anymore? <laughs> I, I feel like we could do that a lot better than the other things. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> know your strengths. This is exactly. what I'm talking about. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then also, uh, we mentioned last week that uh, WoW Vanilla released. Sure uh, did. And boy, did it release. Uh, it had, I think at one point, uh, you had to wait like, I think four to five hours to play. And you had to wait, depending on what server so you were on. Bring me a little up to speed on this story of, okay. of World of Warcraft. Like, why is this even happening? <laughs> so this is happening because uh, there was, so there's private servers out there, which you don't have to pay for. They're mm -hmm. completely free, but they're fan run. And, uh, you know, completely against the law. But anyways, uh, <laughs> there was a giant server that was kind of underground, but not really. Like, if you really wanted to search for it, you could find it. But it had something like, I think it was in the tens of thousands of players concurrently on there all the time. And so uh, Blizzard was, I think somebody like uh, a big publication actually said something about it. And so Blizzard's like, well, now that now they have too many people, we're going to have to shut them down. So they right. sent, uh, you know, DCMA against them. And so there was a huge uproar in the Blizzard in, in the World of Warcraft community because they're like, "Hey, you're not. This is the only way we can play a, the original game because the, the server that they shut down was like just the like it was before Burning Crusade. It was the original War, uh, World of Warcraft, and this is what it was. So, so like Blizzard actually invited the people who ran the server to Blizzard and was like, "All right, let's talk this out. Let's see if we can even work anything out." Uh, they didn't, uh, but they did. But they did talk about how they did steal their idea. Yes, and that's exactly <laughs> what they did. Uh, but they did talk about, it and they're like, "All right, well, we will bring classic servers. We just have to figure out if there is a, you know, if there's if there's a market for it, for so at least for us to run it." Is 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 the was the problem here that World of Warcraft got so big? It's what, like the the biggest game of all time, all time pretty yeah. much. It got too outlandish the, where the game is now. It was too extra. There's too many things going on that it's just kind of muddy or like that 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 this need to have a like streamlined, simplified, simple, simplified version of the game is something that everybody wants. I don't or, think it's everybody. I think right now everybody's playing it because everybody thinks that's what they want. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's basically uh, it's basically like WoW Classic is kind of like Final Fantasy XI. You have to put a lot of time into it. It's a specific set of system, a specific set of skills that you need to have. You need to put a lot of time into it. Um, whereas WoW now is like Final Fantasy fourteen. Everybody can jump on. Woo! Everybody can have fun. You can group up whoever you want. There's a group finder. Bring some mozzarella sticks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so it's a lot more user friendly. But there are still people out there playing Final Fantasy eleven because that's yeah. what they want. They want that type of experience. So that's what it is. And so, so they opened up the servers to everybody because they, they, they finally came up with the date and, and everybody uh, joined it. Uh, and literally everybody joined it. And so <laughs> they were having problems. Uh, at one point, because uh, I, I was watching Twitch on the day that it released, and I, have, I, I follow a bunch of people. And they all play a variety of games. So any given night, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm down for somebody playing like a visual novel. I'll click on that person. They're, you know, they're playing a visual novel. Uh, or they're playing like a Diablo type game. Uh, I, I clicked on Twitch and there's only one of my people I followed who was not playing World of Warcraft. Uh, they're not playing it or they weren't waiting in the queue oh my gosh. to wow. play it. And so uh, Twitch had at one point one, uh, they had 1.1 million people watching WoW Classic. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I wonder how much of it's just going to be like a bit of a nostalgia of I'll go back, I'll play for a little bit, I'll yeah. remember what it's like, and then I'll just I'll go play either regular or I'll go play something else. I yeah. feel like that's what's going to happen because they, they really did leave it like how it originally was. So if you had a quest and you need to kill a specific NPC, well, you have a thousand other people that also have to kill that exact same NPC. So you just got to wait. And so you just have to wait. So there is literal lines that people formed. <laughs> A wow. single file lines. Wow. 
and people were slowly moving up and and doing it that way. Sounds like fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if somebody cuts the line? Well, they're a jerk. <laughs> but yeah, but they're getting they're not waiting three hours. So. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying they're a jerk. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Sure. I'm, I don't I don't do any of the, like the MMO like it's yeah. not my jam, but. So if someone cuts in line, can't you just wait until they're done and go kill them in that game? Uh, yeah, I think you, if, if you're a different, um, actually, I don't know. Uh, it's been a while since I played WoW Classic. I thought WoW Classic was one of the games you could where do you that could if, actually if murder another player. But I mean, they would spawn somewhere if, else. I it, don't or, think you could kill someone in your same faction. Exactly. There are three, uh, three, two, 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 two factions. And um, you have your starting city and they have their starting city and they're on like polar opposite sides of the world. So the closer you get towards the center, which is where the higher level things are, the more oh. likely you are to encounter players. Yeah. Sometimes like a high level player can go and run into the beginning level area, but then you're also just a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're you're right in that game, like um yeah. you could so, do yeah, that. that's what I'm thinking, like if somebody yeah. would cut the line, like there I wish there was like a brute squad that was hanging out by it and just <laughs> like, nah, you're gonna cut the line? We go murk you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. That would be cool. I yeah. would be part of the brute squad. <laughs> but this was so big. So there so there was a, a Norwegian ISP um, that had maintenance planned. They were going to upgrade their cables and, and do all this other stuff. But it was going to be during the first day of WoW Classic. So they actually delayed their, <laughs> their doing it because of WoW Classic releasing they delete it by two weeks. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well done, right? Wow. So yeah, so instead of it being done on the twenty eighth or whatever it was, uh, it's now being done on September tenth. So this was so big that an actual ISP sent out <laughs> news, uh, uh, an email to everybody saying, "Hey, we're not going to do it now because of this. We're going to we're going to wait." I love the idea of like 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 generic businessmen being there like and then we're gonna do the thing that we've been planning for months and they're like actually we're gonna have to wait two weeks because of world of warcraft and they're like i'm sorry what's that what, uh, wait, there, what? Uh, wait, sir what? because of uh nerds <laughs> 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 uh, but i i did find it interesting that 1.1 million people were watching at one point but because i don't know if it's because they wanted to watch it or they're just nothing just else. lack of other thing else, <laughs> anything else because like i said i watch i follow a lot of people and only one of them was not doing world of warcraft and oh. that's the person i watched actually that night everyone's actually, on the hype train yeah exactly so uh it has gotten better though people have been able to like get into certain servers however other servers oh yeah one of them one of the streamers who has i think he had one point uh two hundred thousand people were watching him alone um, he got disconnected from the servers and then he had a queue to get back in. Oh. Uh, yeah, like a two or three hour queue and he was oh. raging. <laughs> that's his money right there. That's his yeah. money. And that's, that's kind of also theirs because, you yeah. know, this is a, a oh, popular yeah. streamer that's trying to get into your game and people are going to want to play with him as well. So they're all trying to get into his server as well. Yeah, but he, I mean, they asked for classic. That was pre-streaming, and man. <laughs> that's exactly what they got. They wanted classic. They got classic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was that was Wild Vanilla, and it's still going. Like we'll see how it goes. I want to see where it is in like a month. Like how many people are actually still playing? Like yeah. oh, this is what I yeah. wanted. Oh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then I guess the the last bit of news that we have today is uh, Cyberpunk, right? Uh, yes, uh, this is this is just a tiny bit of news. I thought it was interesting, yeah. but um, uh, Cyberpunk came out to say that your main character. Um, is kind of genderless mm -hmm. is uh, you can interchange body parts that make you look either male or female but people in the game won't refer to you by a gender that you're just kind of ambiguous which was nice for a video game to not like I, I've definitely played video games where you can play as a woman and then they've clearly just put a woman's body over a men's skin kind of thing or, uh, or yeah, 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 yeah a woman's skin over a men's right. frame but all the mannerisms are still manly like barely manly yeah. and people mannerisms. refer to you like you're a man <laughs> yeah mannerisms <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but this will be cool because they've designed it in, in specifically to be ambiguous. So it doesn't just cover two archetypes. It covers like a range. Okay. That's a good depiction of the future, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As yeah. we continue to like break down gender norms. Mm -hmm. You can be literally anything you want. So yeah. I don't know if I'm looking at, you know, a, a male, a female, whatever. You know, you can, you're just a person. You're, just you're an awesome dude. De-emphasizing <laughs> the need to be that. Exactly. <laughs> in right. the first yeah. place. 
just yeah just be yourself yep <laughs> i thought it was cool yeah that's uh what is that game gonna be <laughs> <laughs> i don't know oh my gosh I'm more wigged out about Cyberpunk 2077 than I am about Death Stranding. I feel like I under- Hideo Kojima, I understand enough that it's going to be what it is. Yeah. But Cyberpunk is promising so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how this is going to pan out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. That, that's, uh, that's For a- 60 bucks? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm already in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> I want to watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've bought that. Mentally, I've bought that. Yeah. It seems like it should, should cost way more than that. Right, <laughs> if it's if it's anything like Witcher Three with like the scope and the actual delivery of it, mm-hmm. I mean I'll be more than happy. Even if it's half the scope, as long as they deliver on what they say they'll deliver on, I'm going to be cool with it. That's like nine or ten sandwiches. I can think. I feel like it's nine or ten sandwiches worth but, of content. Agreed. At least, yeah, I'd say, yeah, the nine or ten good sandwiches as well. Yeah, like yeah. nice, nice, hearty, well buttered, or or mayonnaise or nothing. I guess if that's your yeah. thing. I eat him dry. I'm going to watch and probably eat about 10 sandwiches worth of uh, sandwich watching him play it. So, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm super down. And, that, and that's double sandwiches right? because both you are enjoying it and Brian's enjoying it. So, Ooh. like, so many sandwiches. Oh, man. You know, speaking of food, I mean, I could really go for something right now. Oh, yeah. Mm, like, yeah. I mean, like, like we've been we've been shopping for the hurricane, stocking up on food, you know, just making sure that we had our, you know, as, as, of, as, of course. as the hurricane comes in to make sure that we've got... You know, enough to eat. Oh, but I don't want anything bland. Yeah, I don't know if we have enough. I feel like we just need a little more something just to be ready. Yeah, I don't know. Joe, do you have anything? Is it is it something maybe tasty? Ooh, could it, could I like something, something tasty. Something really tasty, like, you know, nice savory flavor. Like a mm. like a tasty topic? <gasps> Ooh. We're the best. So today's tasty topic, Manda, what you got for us? Oh, yes. Uh, I, I don't know how I became the statistic person, but uh, the, <laughs> the AARP, the, Asso- the American Association for Retired Persons, came out with a report recently that talked about um, people over 50 and how they're gaming and uh, that gaming has increased over uh, the past few years. They say now 30% of all people over 50 um, are gamers. Oh. Most of them play games on their computers or on their phone, but I thought that was fun. Um, uh, they said that uh, there was one cute story about an 88-year-old woman who plays Animal Crossing. She played over 3,000 hours of Animal Crossing because she got oh. to hang out with her grandson. Whoa! That is amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of apples. <laughs> yeah. So or I thought peaches. <laughs> <laughs> and cherries. Durians. Wow. So I thought we could talk about anyone we know who is um, older and plays video games. Yeah. That lady is the Animal Crossing. <laughs> she is. <laughs> I feel uh, like I want to meet her. I want to go to her town and leave her like cool messages on her message board. I, I want them to put her in the game and then she could be my neighbor. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. That would be dope. Oh, won't you be my neighbor? neighbor. Give her an apple. <laughs> be my friend that's so right? cool uh yeah I, I i actually have a story my uh my dad actually plays games and really he's, he's been playing games since since for like forever since the uh, i had an atari because my dad played oh. games so, <laughs> so <laughs> that apple didn't fall from all from the oh. Oh, it, was, oh, it was close God. it was so close wow Speaking what apples. happened oh, it was the fall in the from it was it just came fall from <laughs> yeah we, we can fix uh. it in post yeah, sure. Okay. I guess the apple didn't fall far from the fruit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. The apple didn't fall far from the tree. There's more Fs than I, than I expect. Let's take three. Okay. Uh, I guess the apple didn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Animal Crossing joke. Hey. Number four. <laughs> First time. <laughs> no, it most certainly did not. Uh, and, and so I, I grew up you know, playing games with my dad and also with my brother. And so, like, even when we went over my my uncle's house in Georgia, he had a small like Atari down in the basement. And I would play like, like the two bit basketball game <laughs> that you would go back <laughs> and forth on. And so, my dad still plays games even until now. Like, we used to uh, when we got a PlayStation, uh, we got Gran Turismo. Dad, my dad was hugely into Gran Turismo. Nice. He was into like getting all the the licenses, and get the right <laughs> tires on that car, yep. soup it up. He had his own memory cards so that way we wouldn't get our save swapped. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could actually race against one another in there. So especially like with Gran Turismo 2, 3. Like I got him every single Gran Turismo. And so I, I just recently uh, got him a uh, PS4. And so I gave it to him. And he's he's into golf games as well. 
So there's only like one golf game now because <laughs> like Tiger Woods isn't coming out anymore. Nope. Ooh. Yeah. So like I got on that golf game. And so like even last night, um, I got a call from my dad. And he's like, hey, um, this is something really important. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, what's going on? He's like, well, uh, so I was playing the golf game. And he starts <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and he's like, so I, I'm playing this golf game and uh, it's telling me I'm, I can't go on to online. Uh, I need to reconnect to to Wi-Fi. How do I do that? So I had to like walk him through what to hit, because uh, I only gave it to him maybe like two or three weeks ago for his birthday, and so this is the best, right? So, so I like, love everything about this. So like I'm, I'm like walking him through, and he's like, "Oh, okay, great, thanks." Oh, by the way, are we going to be doing this thing? I was like, yeah, yeah we're going to be doing this. He's like, okay, great. All right, see you later. And like, we hung up. So, <laughs> uh, so he's actually you know playing with the thing I gave him, and he still like does like those stupid little like like match three games, match four games yeah. on a computer. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's also only, that's the only thing is computer can run. <laughs> <The> computer <laughs> is like nothing. Uh, but yeah, it's still great. He still plays games and he's seven. He's in his 70s. Mm. So it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Man, runs in the blood. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Got a legacy there. <laughs> Tro- Beautiful. Troy, do you know anyone over 50 who plays video games? Um, I don't have anyone that regularly does, but I do have a friend uh, that I work with at the hospital who is also in his 70s. And is really enamored with the idea of playing video games. He always talks about, whenever I tell him about what I'm currently playing, he's like, what do you, what do you mean you went to ancient Greece? Or what, what do you mean you were involved in the French Revolution? Like, he just loves hearing about them so much that we talk about it. When we play, we play heads up together. The, oh, okay. The, the, um... Yeah, the, the match game or the guessing game yeah. on your phone. And every time we go, he's always like, pick the video game category. <laughs> <laughs> he loves he loves trying to get into that world, but he's always afraid that like just his motor skills won't be able to keep up. And mm-hmm. I've definitely, you know, talked to him about games that, that are different or, or have a different variety. He's really mm-hmm. into word games, scrabble games, things like that. There's plenty of games to yeah. play oh, yeah. in that realm. So um, he has he's continued to threaten me <laughs> by saying he's like one day you're gonna get a call and it's gonna be for you to come over and hook this thing up for me <laughs> and I'm like I am waited uh, with bated breath on, on the edge of my seat for when you give me that call I will be there um, he, he's a he's he's a uh, hospital clown with me he's Doctor Bumbles <laughs> he's the cute that's a phenomenal name I know he's a phenomenal human being <laughs> was, was he at uh, was he at your wedding he was oh he, I think I know who he is he yeah, had yeah. the puppet yeah <laughs> that guy is awesome he was awesome indeed <laughs> I was like Bumbles wait a minute I think we you introduced him? me to him as a doctor. <laughs> I didn't know who he is. <laughs> Yeah. Joe, do you have any? I, I almost said adults. Do you know any adults that play? Video I games? definitely do don't know, know any adults. <laughs> Anyone over fifty who plays video games? Uh, yes, my mom does, and all my uncles do. So my mom used to play Smash Brothers with me, Aww. like on the N sixty four. So like it has. It, I don't play with her almost at all anymore, but my little brother does, mm-hmm. and they have like a PS four, and they have the Switch and everything. So it's kind of like my mom's super into like whatever the new game that makes you move is. So when we got like the Wii U, she was like really jazzed about playing that game on the, all the games on the platform. So, oh yeah, like she. I mean, the I, balance I, board. If yeah. I, I want to say I'm fairly certain the TV in the back room is actually still has that hooked up to it because she <laughs> likes that game. <laughs> so, I love that. Yeah, it's adorable. Like so, we we, we I mean we do competitions because we're all very competitive. So it's very like who could stand on the board the best, who could get this thing right, who could, <laughs> who could do that, who could move the little thing into the socket faster with using your body. It's really ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why I've never bought them an Xbox with the. Uh, with the connect. visual, with the oh, connect yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. like I don't know, you know, what, the more I think about it, I mean, I had one for the longest time and I never used it. I really should have brought it over. She would probably love the dancing games, but and oh, every yeah. one of my uncles, the reason I play video games is because they had a, an, an, a, a Nintendo and I had an Atari and everything, and I played Pong and I played all that ridiculously. My dad was like into it, but not like in front of me. <laughs> like, it was like it was his toy, but it wasn't really like he didn't want to play it and like have his like two-year-old kid mess it up so i think he was always like that's not fun and just walk out of the room like yeah you're right it's not fun it's totally fun <laughs> yeah, but my, my mom and my uncles all of them still play it if a new zelda game comes out we usually text each other where we're at for the first week or so of the game i have this like a speed run want it has to be 100 percent, but i have to beat it as fast as i can <laughs> breath, breath of the wild broke all of that oh. <laughs> it broke me like I, not being done with a zelda game in a week was really messed up <laughs> but it was uh, they, they all my, my whole family they all pretty into it my brother and my sister are really into it but they're not obviously over 50 (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, and then Manda, yeah. uh, do you know anybody? Oh yeah, I, I definitely got into video games because um, my my mom bought our first. Uh, my mom actually bought our first console before I was alive, so she played video games before we were born, and so they were always in the house. The first one I remember is the the classic Nintendo, the NES. Mm-hmm. But she was also really into computer games, and the fun part about my mom is she would have games for us, and then she would have games that were like her games. <laughs> like she bought she bought Myst. Uh, at the same time, I was playing like Reading Rabbit, which is like this game where like you like associate letters with words, kind of like it's that simple. But uh-huh. we we're like, we don't want to play this. We want to play your game. Yeah. So we're like opening her, her missed save file and running around. Oh no! Like, her missed terrible. We were like, I I just want to see the pirate ship in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> she gets uh, back to her game. She's like, "Where am I?" <laughs> <laughs> when was reading uh, Rabbit released? Oh, I have like, no idea. Like 1989, 1990. Uh, uh, AJ, could you look that up for us and put it in the comments? Thank you. Yes. Uh, AJ's our research assistant. For those of you who don't know, uh, he's he, the best. Yeah, he yeah. does he, all he of our research- background work. Yeah, he, he researches as he uh, listens. So it's <laughs> yes, really nice. He does. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, yes, so fact check out Reading Rabbit for us. <laughs> 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 it's a hard one to go for. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, but yeah, she, yeah, my mom was really into Star Wars and video games, which growing up was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That is awesome that it was your mom, you know. Yeah, cool. yeah. And, you know, both of you guys, it was your mom, which, yep. you know, that that's kind of weird. I mean, that's awesome that, it, you know, but it's like, oh, also our the two girls that we know that play video games, it was their moms that Good. also play mm-hmm. video games. Yeah, yeah. Good oh, examples. Yeah. yeah. But my dad did not play. No, just never. Never. No, no. Yeah. Again, I think my dad just wouldn't do it in front of us because he didn't want to make it look cool. Like he didn't want to make it seem like it was something we all would should do. Like, like, I, like he was always very like, do, you know, do as I say, not as I do. You know, it was like if I if he was doing it, he'd be like, let's do that. And he'd be like, no, I don't want to do this anymore because you kids are, really can't do whatever this is. <laughs> he was building cars or working on boats or like that kind of stuff. So it was, he was always very like non emotional yeah, about yeah, what yeah. he was doing. Mm-hmm. So my mom, on the other hand, I mean, I, I you know what I'm thinking about? I think she she plays Candy Crush like it's a religion. Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh my god, I've never. Played played candy crush i don't know how any of that it, it's a it's like another it's like game a coin matching but bejeweled it's right it's bejeweled. Three. Kind of like that, that's the name three. that's yeah. the game bejeweled is the game everybody compares it to i've never played that either yeah and every time i think about it i think is it like zookeeper because i played zookeeper and it's kind of like that it's roughly like zookeeper yeah. but she it is a religion it is if they put out <laughs> new levels it's like the hand of god has come down through her tablet <laughs> and like like it touched her on her face and they come to me and, and she it, will the there. saga continues <laughs> she and will play the, for hours and it's the best also because she doesn't even know what the game's called. It's just <laughs> that, that game on my phone yeah. <laughs> or whatever it is. It's her tablet. Her tablet. That's right. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. That game on my, you know, my thing that I have with the screen. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's just like I got this to this level. And it's really hard. It's <laughs> like Brian's dad. She'll call if something's not working. It'll be like, Mom, you, you literally just have to click the right Wi-Fi in the house. Oh, if the yeah. password's saved, you just have to click that thing that says the name of the password <laughs> in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I got to say, as uh, having parents who are not yeah, anywhere near gamers mm-hmm. i'm very happy they bought me video games because <laughs> it kind of makes sense that you your parents were counting video games so they bought you video games mm-hmm. i have no reason to have video games <laughs> so just good on them <laughs> for just you know throwing yeah. throwing me a bone yeah well done as a kid <laughs> thanks mom pa yeah we appreciate that you guys are great <laughs> yeah, i salute you <laughs> it's true my my aunt my uncle so like i had a cousin and she was not into video games at all so they would buy video games for her so when we would come over we would have something to do with her so we could try and like get her into it mm-hmm. she never liked she still doesn't <laughs> like them to this day yeah. but they bought her an n64 and they bought me and my sister an n64 for christmas and we would go to her house and, like all of her save files were like brand new Aww. we'd go to her house to play like it was like wave race 64 we're like yeah we have all these things unlocked and it, like there was like six things unlocked yeah. it wasn't a lot <laughs> but none of the save files were even there it's like what, what did you even put this game in the car she did not <laughs> she had literally no interest but she wouldn't she, it was one of those like rivalry things she couldn't not have one as well oh yeah. right so right. they had to get her one too and it's like oh we'll play it <laughs> it'll keep us all quiet mostly <laughs> well awesome i like the topic nicely yeah. done but you know i'm I'm still not satiated. What? You know, I'm not. Come on, Brian. Still hungry? I'm not, I'm what are you still, talking about? I'm, I'm a little hungry. I'm not oh, like okay. starving, okay. but we, I can like eat a little bit. We, we had some sandwiches. We just dipped into our, our, our hurricane supply. Oh, You're man. still hungry? I'm still a little hungry. Well, what are know. we going to do about that? I don't know. Can we have like a dessert? Like a like a tasty dessert? A tasty dessert? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, you mean like a 
a dessert that is tasty. Yeah. And a topic. Ooh. Again. Ooh. A tastier topic. Nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, Troy, you had a, a tiny topic for us today, didn't you? Yes, well? I do. This topic is uh, very topical. Yes. Or Ooh. dare I say, tropical. Oh. <laughs> uh, we are sitting here as a hurricane named Dorian is barreling towards our coast. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's going to be here in a few days, and uh, Mandy and I have already prepped for it since we leave on a plane tomorrow morning and then get back after it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun for us, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, but because of that, it reminded me of past hurricanes, and uh, I got a little happy because I remembered past hurricanes being a really great time to game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for those of you who don't live in Florida or South Florida and are like, what are you talking about? Hurricanes sometimes are like snow days for us. <laughs> It's our only snow days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We kind of barrel in, and the hurricane comes, and there's a possibility you might lose uh, your electricity. But sometimes it just washes over you, and instead you just had a lot of time in the house to do nothing but play video games (laughs) or other games of your sort. Mm -hmm. So I was curious, um, on two fronts with you all, um, what is your uh, preparedness level when it comes to these uh, uh, disaster uh, you know, events. What do you do to get ready to uh, to, to withstand time? Um, and also, uh, do you have any gaming memories of past hurricanes? How do you game the hurricane? Ooh, hurricane. Ooh. <laughs> <It's- laughs> Don't worry, that one will blow over. Oh, <laughs> hey. Ah. No, you're, you're the wind in my sails with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, took the wind out of my sails. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, what about you, Troy? Yeah, I'll start yeah, off. you start us off. Um, so, one, of course, you got to make sure everything is charged. Of course. If you have your oh, Switch, yeah. if you have, you're still rocking a, a 2DS somewhere out there, mm-hmm. um, make sure you're good and you're charged uh, for all your platforms. Make sure the, the games you have are updated before <laughs> the right. hurricane hits yeah. so that you'll have the latest version of that able to play. Make sure that it's an offline game. Even yes, if you're yes. playing single player, because some of the games now are yes. online regardless of whether you're playing with people. Mm-hmm. That, this is good. And I'll, feel free to throw some out too, what you guys are doing as, as I go about. Sure. Um, have your backup for when the. Uh, so, say you have maybe two systems. I remember I had the DS and the Vita at one point. Yes. I would make sure that I would play the Vita first. So, or the, the DS first because it had the lesser battery. Mm-hmm. And then when that ran out, then I would have the backup Vita <laughs> afterwards <laughs> to now continue the gaming. Yeah. Um, so have a plan when it comes to, to, to the systems if you have multiple ones of how you're going to play them and when. I agree. Uh, also, uh, nowadays, a lot of the systems can also be run off of like USB power. So, mm-hmm. a lot of the, so a lot of you can also just get like battery backups. Get your, you know, your little cell phone backup thingy that's, you know, 10,000, whatever. And then you can, a lot of the gaming systems, you can hook up to there and it'll charge off of that. Yep. Yeah. So I'll give yeah. you even more juice. Even more juice. Yeah. And note to the wise on that, though, the Switch is different. The Switch is the different. The Switch is yes. literally the only thing that has a, the Switch because the original Vitas were like this and now and the Switch is the other one. So it wasn't the only, but mm-hmm. the Switch, you have to have a specific kind of voltage or it is actually messing with yes. the battery and messing oh. with the power port. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think I had a friend who tried to charge an Android <laughs> with it and <laughs> yes. it was like weird. It got uh, weird. Jessica has destroyed multiple oh. cords in our house because it's a USB-C. Oh. Uh, uh. She has destroyed the car- the cords for the Switch by using it on her phone. It, the voltage oh. in it, it just messes everything up. So pro tip for the hurricane so, don't do that don't yeah. do that. i have yeah. i have uh, anchor makes really amazing battery backups that you can use on anything including the switch oh, because nice. it has the proper voltage in it for the switch so like i i use anchor everything i, I love their that company mm-hmm. yeah and uh dorian Ooh. has made a uh made a made an appearance oh our special guest hurricane yeah. dorian yeah. <laughs> yeah. welcome the rain you hear in the background yeah <laughs> if, if you can't hear it it sounds like shh <laughs> yeah yeah i think That's it's a, I think it's, you know, Accurate. yeah, I think it's just Dorian telling us to, to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, well, what I usually do, <clears throat> I like to make sure I have my case handy, make sure it's in the case. If, uh, if the wind comes through, it doesn't get damaged. <laughs> Thanks, Dorian. Yeah, I appreciate your, that. Your switch help. <laughs> um, but it also reminds me of good times um, when you are ready for the storm and now you're just waiting for it to come and there's nothing else to do but someone watch the news and then play video games. One of my favorite memories is actually with your doggy, um, uh, oh, with Rally. Oh, yeah. Uh, she stayed over at our place because you guys had to leave. 
I think, and there was a hurricane coming. Oh, we were in coming. New York, I think, or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So she stayed with us, and um, we were barreled in. The We couldn't go outside. The hurricane passed over us. No big whoop, but we had an entire, like, day and a half of just doing nothing. And that's when I played the entirety of Sleeping Dogs <laughs> while oh. there was a sleeping dog next to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yep, that's Rally. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I was just in that moment, just realizing like, and I can't go anywhere. There's no responsibility. Yeah. I can't go to work. I can't go to school. There's nothing else to do. I just got to sit here and play this game and just wait the storm out with this lovely dog. It's a sweepy puppy. <laughs> yes. She still just does that all day. Yeah. I love it. And <laughs> so it, it was great to, to pass that time while playing Sleeping Dogs and add it as a, a lovely moment in my memory. That's one of my favorite games. So I, so th- I think you really, I love Sleeping Dogs and I always want to say the whole, they wouldn't, bad word with us if we were if they knew we were son on ye it is a constant <laughs> in my life every time someone brings it up i have to bring up the triad comment i love it yeah. <laughs> thank you for bringing the joy to my life you bet <laughs> that's awesome uh, amanda did you have any like special memories like a specific I, I can't think of anything specific but i definitely like that that's a staple for a hurricane and myself is just like i'm gonna find like a cozy spot on the sofa <laughs> and i'm gonna flip out it was the ds for the longest time but now it's my switch and then kind of snuggle and eat all of the hurricane food that i should be saving yeah. for later yeah. <laughs> yeah most certainly i mean let's get real i mean that's what it is yeah that's what we do you, buy, yeah. you buy doritos and cheetos <laughs> because they don't go bad no. not because they're junk food and you know you're gonna be trapped inside for a few days no. Healthy food spoils. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> then I have to eat that first, and then I'm miserable on top of being inside of a hurricane. I'm like, man, that's not fun for anyone. <laughs> uh, I'm with you, actually, because like, uh, the last hurricane that we had, which was, I don't know, I think it was Irma. Like a year. Yeah, Irma. Uh, when that one came through, it was like, all right, cool. We like battened down the hatches because it was supposed to be like hitting us, hitting us. Yeah. Category five. five. Yeah. yeah. It was like, oh, God. So we batten down the hatches we like put all of the stuff up and we're like all right cool we got this and then like it turned uh wherever it turned yeah. and it was like oh okay well it barely hit us whatever but I'm, i still gotta wait for it because it might still you know turn somewhere else sometimes they turn around <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly you just so, go north which hits you again on the other side yeah. so i was like all right so but like nowadays like if you're playing your game like you know I'm, I'm, i was playing on the ps4 and i was like well it's just only a matter of time till my power goes out and then, but you're like, your save could get corrupted or your, your system could get messed up mm-hmm. if, yeah. your, if your power goes immediately off, you know? So it was, it was one of those, I'm taking the chance. <laughs> <laughs> living on the edge. I'm living on the edge. We, we have like one of those monster battery backups though. Yeah. Well, we do, yeah. we do now. now. We didn't at the we time. Didn't yeah. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to play my system no matter what. <laughs> 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 the power goes off. Well, I best I better turn it off now. <laughs> but yeah, and that was great because it was one of those like, I was telling Joe because it was just Joe and I inside the house. Yeah, we were the only ones that stayed home with a rally and, yeah and so like we we're there and i was just like you know i probably should have been playing a game <laughs> but uh eh, whatever <laughs> i think i was he was playing that game pr- until the power went out basically yeah i was playing on my uh the, the micro the micro uh, uh, game, game boy advance yeah, oh yeah uh, so i was playing i was playing dr mario in like the other room like setting up time-lapse cameras and stuff like because i really love time-lapsing hurricanes coming through because it looks nice. insane <laughs> <laughs> like it looks so cool but I, it, I think having a that's a really good tip though have, making sure your TV your system whatever have it on some sort of serious surge protecting battery backup yeah it is not safe for those things. They can get fried real easy. Yeah. Like, or, I plan on unplugging the switches and everything. Yeah. Like, I don't want anything getting juiced by this. Or right. just unplug everything. Yeah. Just turn it yeah. off, mm-hmm. unplug it, move it away from the window. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or get things off the floor, too. Put, yep. put if things it, in if the you cloud if you can. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Put things in the cloud. Yep. And then, well, if all else fails and you run out of battery and you, you don't have any more games to play because you don't have any more power and all else is good, you know what you can do? Grab your favorite comic from Tate's Comics, yeah. also sponsored on the Tater Talk podcast. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's analog. That's right. It's a no-brainer. You don't, you don't need a USB with that. No. You, you just read yourself until the power's back and you, you can get back to video games. You do need light, though. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little, yeah. little bit. A you little just little got to wait for the flash of lightning. That's true. Oh, that, would be, that would actually be, I mean, obviously it would be obnoxious, but part of that would be really thrilling. I think that's, just the, like, oh. that's the coolest way to read a comic. <laughs> <laughs> kind, of like, kind of like how you used to have to play your Game Boy and, and as the car's driving at the way for the street lights every, yeah. every other one. Like, oh oh, there it is. Oh, I can go now. I can go. I can go. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just 
Wolverine by candlelight. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Wolverine by candlelight. That's that a sounds gr- like bougie Wolverine. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> the world's best comic series right there. <laughs> All of his hair is like nice waxed. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to think too much about that no, visual. No. <laughs> He's like parted it. Yeah, yeah. Nope, didn't want to think too much about it. It's like a toupee. Nope, he's in a suit. No, he's in a suit now. It's just his top hair. <laughs> you released that beast. We got to continue on. <laughs> he has top hair, not a top hat. <laughs> his top hair is shaped like a top hat. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. I can imagine it. <laughs> his hair's been real dumb before. That's not that. That's not even as dumb as his other hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, I like it. That was a good, uh, good dessert. Yeah. Now I'm full. Now I'm nice. definitely full. <laughs> double entree, good double decker. Yeah, very sugary. I liked it. Yeah, indeed. Saccharin, if you will. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now that brings us to our dragon of the week. <laughs> It's the dragon of the week, Woo-hoo. so take a seat. Uh-huh. It's the dragon of the week. No, we won't miss a beat. That's dragon that. of the week. Yeah. Thanks God. for being back, Troy. <laughs> Glad to be back. You all rock. <laughs> Not as much last week. <laughs> we were more rolling than rocking last week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> Just, are you going to do it? No, you, no, you, no. no. Oh, this is going to be me. <laughs> You all rolled very well. You rolled with the punches. <laughs> we didn't realize that we didn't have you until we got to that. <laughs> like, we knew, but it wasn't until uh, that we were just like, oh, <laughs> this is choice. Oh. <laughs> this is so, a daily dose of singing improv. That's right. You know, there it is. So, speaking of you, Troy, you are, you have our Dragon of the Week, right? Yes, I do. I brought them with me. Ooh. All right. So, my Dragon of the Week. He's best known for his big time Hollywood movies. Ooh. He's an actor, a singer, a narrator. And an iconic voiceover artist. Ooh. It is the man, the myth, the legend, Keith David. Oh, wow. <gasps> I love him. Yes. He yes. is amazing. The gasp. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ooh, where's he going with this? <laughs> yeah. He's all those things. Yeah. <laughs> so while I could spend hours talking about uh, his illustrious acting career, of course. I will spend most of this time uh, digging into his video game work. Uh, so right off the bat, I'm just going to throw out the video games he's in. Then I'll dig more into his past a little bit. Let's go. Um, so uh, he is Decker from the original Fallout. Uh, Julius Little from Saints Row, which was one of the, the main gang leaders. Damn right. Uh, Barricade, the robot from the Transformer games that have come <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, here's a big one. Captain David Anderson from the entire Mass Effect series, your, your main go-to. Yep. Another big one, the Arbiter from the entire Halo series. Oh. Which is pretty wonderful. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a lot more that he's been in, but my favorite role has been himself, the Vice President of the United States of America in Saints Row 4. <laughs> yes. Uh, one of the most iconic roles of this video game generation. Oh, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Keith was born in, uh, you know, Keith's what I call him. Oh, of Since I'm in the biz, you know, <laughs> we just call each other you know, by our first names. Yeah. Keith and Beath. Uh, <laughs> Um, Keith was born in Harlem, raised in Queens, graduated from Juilliard in Oof. the late 70s. And then after doing some tours and some Shakespeare tours, um, it led him to a lead role opposite Kurt Russell in John Carpenter's The Thing, you may remember. That's true. And that launched his career. He went on to have an awesome career in Hollywood from Platoon to Armageddon to Requiem for a Dream. You have any favorite Keith David movies? A Goliath from... Oh, gargoyles! That's that's my favorite. <laughs> yes. Troy's pretending that that's not why he chose him. <laughs> oh, I wrote a paragraph about it. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh my god, I, I cut you the chase. I'm so sorry. My bad. You did say movie, not TV. Yes. But like, uh, they're they're alive. Is, that's that's one. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Where yeah. it's yeah, which is pretty wonderful. Where they live. They live. They live. That's yeah, I, was, it. I was like, one of those wrong. One of those words is wrong, but not by that much. <laughs> yeah. He's he's almost like a cult classic guy as well. Oh, yeah. He's in like some big movies, but he's really known for just who he is and the way that he is, uh, the way that he presents his characters in movies that have developed a cult following among uh, about him. Oh yeah, and his voice is amazing, just yeah. so good, it's so beautiful, it's silky. <laughs> so yeah, when it comes down to it, one of the most iconic things about this actor is his rich, booming, commanding voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was the voice of Goliath, as Joe mentioned, uh, in Disney's Gargoyles, the late '90s uh, cartoon sitcom <laughs> <laughs> saga epic that it was. 
And uh, that that's what really kicked off his um, career in voice acting because people were like, that, that talking stone sounds awesome. <laughs> that, that's a voice right there. <laughs> Put him in more stuff. Yeah. Um, and to me, that that's it was his important work that really uh, sailed it for, for me. Uh, Gargoyles is probably the most influential series that I've watched as a child and has a lot to do with what I like in all forms of media entertainment today, just in all respects. It touches on on uh, epic storytelling or um, long-form storytelling, uh, uh, memorable characters, um, diversity. I mean, you had characters that – episodes that actually dealt with, you know, the, the main character being biracial and what that means – in it and then the idea of gargoyles being you know a different race by itself and, mm -hmm. and then it also tied in shakespeare yeah <laughs> <laughs> that Macbeth stuff was some of the coolest stuff Gosh, i think i had ever seen into its main story having puck as a as a, a cast a character a character that comes in every week like it, it taught me things about storytelling that i didn't know existed and mm -hmm. it is still you know a, what i compare a, a lot of things to today and uh yeah so because of his voice acting and that it, he went on to to have more powerful voice acting uh roles in mass effect as captain david anderson uh which he did things with that character that were so um the, the, the arc of that character from the first one where he's just kind of generic mm -hmm. he's just kind of the guy who gives you your missions and by the end of mass effect 3 the pathos that that character has gone on and the journey and like what what happens to him like it's really really wonderful and and he really brings a lot of a lot of life to that um and then his other role that i really enjoyed was himself <laughs> <laughs> in saints row four uh you play the president of the united states and of course in saints row fashion you make uh your vice president Keith David, just him, <laughs> with his entire body of work, just Keith David. And in this fiction, Keith David says yes. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, your friend and your pal. And in the course of that game, you end up destroying the world and getting launched into space. <laughs> um, and by doing so, uh, Keith then kind of reprises his role from Mass Effect by being your kind of friend, confidant, and leader, um, but also himself. <laughs> <laughs> the best person he could be yeah which just <laughs> proves to me that he's an awesome dude that he was able to um take to say yes to a role that not just not doesn't make fun of him but also elevates him to this this part this place where he understands how iconic he is mm -hmm. and is able to lean into it in a meaningful way and it's not just a throwaway joke he's a real character that you could take out on missions you could romance or try to romance <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like there's a whole full cut scene of just him uh, reenacting scenes from they live <laughs> um like it, it's a phenomenal tool and a phenomenal um role and uh yeah just further shows why he's such a cool dude um, coming up, he will be um, voice acting in a for a new character in 2020 in Mortal Kombat 11. Ooh. That's right, the one that just came out. Um, he will be the voice of Spawn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> As, yeah, I can see that. Since Spawn's being introduced into Mortal Kombat 11 with the Terminator and the Joker mm -hmm. and everyone, um, Keith David will be doing the voice of Spawn. So. You saying that makes me feel like I'm, I'm listening to Soul Calibur, and I, it's yeah. not. It's yeah. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm very yeah. Good, like, Wow. Yeah. 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 So that that should be pretty great. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, hear it for uh, Keith David, the illustrious actor and uh, bad ass icon <laughs> <laughs> in video games. I think that word's okay. All right, yeah. cool. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, right on. Yeah. I'll say it it's in a more uh, badass good. way next time. <laughs> <laughs> not a questioning manner. Like, yeah. Wait, huh? Can I say uh, yeah. this? <laughs> yeah, not questioning him. Questioning if I can say it. Of course. Yeah. No, there's no question about him. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. yeah Icon. I, th I think my first role that, or his first role that I remembered his voice in was the Mass Effect series mm -hmm. because it is such. A commanding voice. It's one of those. Oh, I, I would do whatever you say. Yeah, you got that. You got it. <laughs> the, the man knows he has a great voice and he's used it. He's been in over 20, 25 video games, and that's not counting the voiceovers he's done for documentaries, mm -hmm. separate cartoons. Like his voice is a big part of of, of who he is, and I, I'm just, I'm happy it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really glad you got you got to share that with us there, Troy. Thank you all for listening. Yeah, of course. And Juilliard, that's awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I think one of our first dragons who like, oh, this is what I want to do for a living. And then like, it, it was kind of that as well. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I want to, you know, I want to act. Oh, I'm acting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> awesome. Well, good Dragon of the Week there, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, But unfortunately, that means that we are at the close of our episode. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> We're stealing all the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> is it stealing if you sing them yourself? <laughs> huh. ah. uh, you know what? Not really, actually. You can uh, be parroting them. It's, a, it's an homage. It's homage. You, you know can... what? Fact check that for us, AJ. That's right. Yeah. You know, for the for the sake of, you know, court argument, no. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, AJ, could you look up the copyright law on whether you can... <laughs> We're really up in our AJ uh, fact checks here. I know. <laughs> it went from, oh, when was this released? To like, hey, <laughs> what's the legal ramifications of copyright infringement? I believe in him. Thanks, AJ. I believe too. Thanks, Appreciate AJ. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're we're at the close of the episode. Oh, so. uh, it, just in case anyone's we we did check and see if there was any Nancy Drew news. We did, and there is no Drew news. There's nothing this new this week. No, we were Drew's sad. No. Nope. So. We have no Caitlin and no Nancy Drew news. I think it's because we had no Caitlin that right? there's oh, no Drew news. Oh, I see the time. Yeah. Yeah. Or Caitlin didn't come in because there was no Drew news. It's you know, just like, if too. there's no news, I'm <laughs> not podcasting. <laughs> I got to make that. a stance. Yeah, you got to make a stance. You know, sometimes you got to take a stand. And that's, that's right. That's, I understand that. Guy. <laughs> I understand that. Uh, but yeah, as always, we record live upstairs inside of Tate's Comics, powered by our friends, Yay. the 2000 Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> All the sound so, effects, I love it. That's the, that was original. <laughs> that's a Troy original right there. Nice. Don't and, steal it. Yeah. AJ, help me out. <laughs> uh, and then you can always find us online uh, where AJ lives. Uh, right, Troy? That's right. You find us on uh, TikTok, Twitter, uh, Facebook page, and our Instagram is where a lot of our uh, content uh, outside of the podcast comes from, where you have a lot of uh, articles written up. Um, this week we're looking at our last week in gaming history, uh, which was 2009's Shadow Complex, Ooh. the game that made Xbox Live Arcade a thing. That's right. And all I remember about that game is just being so jealous that I didn't <laughs> have an Xbox and everybody was talking about it. Oh, one of the best games ever made, from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but you never play because you I know. Xbox. I'm dumb PlayStation face over here. <laughs> I think he went out in the end. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but as always, my name is Brian. My name is Troy. Amanda. And I'm Joe. And that was your uh, Taste of Dragons. Have a great week, everyone. So about those mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Can we dip them in queso? Whoa! Done. You guys know we're just a couple of couples. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> a couple of couples. The podcast. <laughs> <laughs>